This video will be the beginning of um, a series of three videos showing you how to begin uh, setting up your web page layout from a Photoshop file. And during that, this time you will learn techniques such as um, uh, copy merge and measuring different things. So a lot of different concepts will happen throughout these three um, videos. And if you are building a layout in Illustrator and you want to know, okay, am I doing it right or how do I convert over, you need to see me individually on that because everybody builds differently. And so rather than do a global solution, I will just work with you on an individual basis on that. But uh, as far as Photoshop, you want to keep all of your layers editable and you want to keep them separate. Ideally, you want to keep them uh, in you know in groups so it's very easy I have a content folder here and fly the coop and email sign up and on and on and on so with all that being said let's go ahead and start building the layout and I don't promise that everything will be dealt with in this uh, tutorial uh, series I just want to start to get the foundation going now one of the things I doubt I'll have time to do is show you how to set up your horizontal nav and make it look nice like this. Um, that is covered. It's addressed in the reading for this week's lecture, so be sure to read about that and walk through his tutorial and, and learn how to get your nav bar to set up horizontally and then see how he goes about laying things out and you'll, you'll be in good shape. And of course I'll be there to help you as well, but um, I'll do as much as I can with this. I'm mostly concerned at, at, at building the bigger pieces first before we break it down to little pieces. Another step I'm skipping is um, I have you in class uh, segment out each piece. You know, I have you draw it on the screen or print it out and draw it on the printed piece where you want headers and sections and navs and articles and that type of thing. In the interest of time, I'm diving into this. You have to do that. Um, and it's good practice to do that, but I want to focus just on how do we work with this Photoshop file. So um, I will go about it now. So here I see that I have a background. I'm going to apply that background either to the body, um, most likely to the body. So then I see that it's a centered layout. And um, I have to consider that I have, I have from, you know, this edge, to this edge. That is really the width of my layout. Then I'll have another section that will be inside. Um, that'll be from here to here. So when it comes to setting up my width of things, I'm going to be going off of this for the overall container, just so you know, because we have this unusual thing going on. Now, um, I'm working in pixels. If you're not, you should be, because that's all the web is going to understand anyway. Well, there's a few other measurements, but compared to inches, it, it, it understands pixels. And what I see beyond the body, uh, I have a, a div that I'm going to give an ID of wrapper to, and then I'm going to have, uh, you know, this will be an HTML5 document, I'm going to have a header section, a nav section, and I will have, I'll probably have a second, no, I will have the header, the nav, and then I will have um, another section down here with uh, an article and another nav in here. Then there'll be a footer, footer down below. So uh, let me just go and set that up. I'm going to choose a blank HTML page, choosing HTML5 as my document type. I'm going to save it within my site folder, and in this case it's that, and I will name this, as I'm showing you guys to do, I will name it layout.html because I will end up converting this to um, a uh, Dreamweaver template. So first I'm going to start with a div with an ID of wrap. to hold the overall thing.
and I don't know how many divs I'll have, probably a few, but just so we know what's happening there. And then I know I have a header section, and I have a nav. And then I have, well, I know I said that I would, I would do section here and a nav over there, or maybe hold this whole thing in a section. I'm just thinking this out. Hold on a sec. Okay, so what I know from the actual finished site is that headers and things like that go over here. So this should be a section. This I'm treating as a nav because that's, or well, I'm using, I'm sorry, I shouldn't treat that as a nav. This is a section as well because really this is really a link to a PDF and this takes you to uh, the Wine VIP, VIP section, and then this is sign up for eNews, which takes you to an uh, eNews sign up form. So this will be a section. Inside this section, we'll have an article, and then of course we can have headers in here. And um, I'm going to go ahead and put a div around all of this and call it uh, lower lower content okay so then from there we have a section and for now I'm going to give it an idea I don't know if I'll end up using it I don't know if I'll get that far in the tutorials um, I don't know, I don't have enough information from my mocks to give this a more semantic meaning, so I'm going to go ahead and give it left content. If this is where all the products went, if there was a specific bit of information there, then I would give it more meaning or a, a better name. In here we have, um, those are all uh, calls to action, so So I'm going to go ahead and call it that, and um, or to stay consistent, we can do it like this. Now I have two IDs in here, so at this point, I would like to be clear as to what is ending, and that way it'll help me out as. Um, this um, gets flushed out a little bit more. So then over here I will have some sort of, of a header and um, we'll just say home for right now. So the mock that I was provided it isn't exactly um, as uh, fleshed out as I would like it to be and inside of I want it to sit inside of the article, which is this. So if I had a, a totally fleshed out mock, then it would have all the headers and everything in it, and this one is not. But calls to action over here, this really can be um, treated a number of ways. It's not an article. I am going to go with a list because it is a listing of related, you know, different calls to action, ways for the user to engage with the site. So for right now, I'm just going to put this in here. And worry about if I have time in the demo to get more specific later with it. Okay, and up at the top we have this nav, home, about, menu, news and events, and location and contacts. So I'm going to go ahead and do that as well. Home, about, menu, news, 
and events and location and contact and then I'll go through and wrap this in um, a list Okay, so uh, we have two navs, or no we don't, we're not calling this a nav, we're going to go with just an order list. Okay, that's great. That doesn't need it. Now this is a section, so as far as my document outline goes, it's probably a good idea to have um, an H2 in here. And this could be something far more clever than calls to action. Um, but for now, we, we will make this, if I, I doubt I'll get far enough in the... Um, in the demo to do a whole lot, but hopefully one of the things I'll do is make this go away. That way this section has an it has a heading in the document outline and um, then uh, this as well here has a section with an article and I have an H2 in here. Now I may, if I were to validate my uh, or load up my document outline, I might actually need a header for the section as well. I'm not sure how that would come up and I'm not going to test it for the sake of this. Anyway, in the next video I will keep working on the document and start to um, build it out just a, a little. Oh, I've got to put in the footer, so that's where we'll head next in the next uh, installment of this.